Hello to everyone welcome, and I hope you want to listen from McDonald's podcast about Vietnamese traditional food. Today the 6th of April 2023 is Easter in Norway. Today's holiday is known as Maundy Thursday. It looked sad outside, with no clouds, no rain and no sunlight. There is still a lot of snow in the backyard. It is 11 o'clock in the afternoon and the climate is relatively warm at 1 degree Celsius. Suddenly, I miss my late father. My father always made pho using the Hanoi noodle method. When my father was alive, he often cooked pho during the holidays because at that time father was free from work, so he has time for housework including cooking. At that time, my father always called us when he finished cooking pho. By then I had finished eating a bowl of pho that my father had cooked. Then he always asked the question, is it good? I always answer, great. My mouth says it, but my thoughts were comparing the dishes dad and mom usually make. I always liked my father's way of cooking and seasoning food more than my mother's cooking. Because my father's family came from North Vietnam. My mother's family came from central Vietnam. My mother came from central Vietnam, therefore, she always cooks with a lot of salt in the food. I recommend to those of you who have kidney diseases that you then reduce the amount of salt in food or salty dishes. I'm craving pho bo, cooked the Hanoi way, as my father always used to cook and feed us when he was alive. I love my dad very much. Pho Hanoi is a famous dish from Vietnam and is loved by many people. It can be said, it becomes even more delicious when you cook at home for the family. The beef is sweet and nutritious, the noodles are chewy and chewy, along with the rich broth, mixed with the scent of herbs. Speaking of which, I'm already hungry, don't wait long, let's go to the kitchen to do it right now. This is how you prepare delicious beef noodle soup with a rich broth. It must be said that, pho is a good dish and quite simple to prepare. Today I'm sharing this easy way to make pho, and let's get to the kitchen to make it right away. The table of contents. 1. Introducing Hanoi beef noodle soup. 2. Compare Hanoi beef pho and Nam Din beef noodle soup. 3. Instructions on how to make Hanoi style beef noodle soup. How to make Hanoi pho with spice packets. 4. The secret behind making delicious Hanoi beef noodle soup. 1. Introducing Hanoi beef noodle soup. Hanoi beef noodle soup first appeared during the French colonial era. Pho Hanoi is known through the shape of pho burden. Pho sellers strolling with their voices echoing in the small streets. It became an old beauty of Ha Ton at that time. Now, although the burden of pho is no longer available, Hanoi pho still has its value. Hanoi pho stands out thanks to its sweet, clear and rich broth. Thanks to the fact that it is simmered from beef bones, served with chewy noodles, added some green onions, chili vinegar, green vegetables, when you eat once you will never be able to forget. 2. Compare Hanoi beef noodle soup and Nam Din beef noodle soup. Nam Din beef noodle soup on the surface may be difficult to distinguish from Hanoi beef noodle soup. But if you taste it, you will immediately discover that Nam Din beef noodle soup has a much darker broth because it is seasoned with fish sauce. As for the broth for Hanoi pho, it will be clearer in taste and less oily. Hanoi's noodles are thin and soft. But when the noodles are just through boiling in water, they are still chewy and don't break. In the case of Nam Din's pho, the noodles will be larger and the thickness moderate, because the noodles are coated and cut by hand therefore the noodles are much larger than the Hanoi noodles which are slice. 3. Instructions on how to make Hanoi-style beef noodle soup. How to make Hanoi pho with seasoning packets. Preparation, 50 minutes. Treatment, 120 minutes. 4, 4 to 5 people. Ingredients for cooking Hanoi pho with seasoning packets. 
1 kilogram beef bone 150 grams of beef 150 grams of beef fillet 1 onion 1 packet of beef noodle soup seasoning ginger powder condiments fish sauce rock sugar salt pepper step 1 prepare the ingredients you wash 1 kilogram of beef bones in a solution of salt and vinegar to eliminate odors then put it in a pot of water and add 2 grams of ginger powder wait 5 minutes to boil and rinse again with cold water step 2 boil broth all in a pot with 2 liters of water include these boiled bones and let it simmer on low heat for 2 hours remember to skim the foam on the surface allow the water to cool completely then place in a saucepan 1 pack of beef noodle soup 150 grams of beef and add 300 milliliters of water continue to simmer for 1 hour then take them all out Taste with 2.5 teaspoons of rock sugar, 1 teaspoon of salt and 2 teaspoons of fish sauce respectively. When the steak has cooled, cut the meat into thin slices. As for the beef, cut it into thin slices. Pour the noodle soup over the boiling water and then transfer it to a bowl. Then, on top of the beef-covered part, place sliced beef, onion head, sliced onion. Finally, you pour over the boiling broth. So, you can enjoy Hanoi Pho. Step 3. Finished Product When you don't have too much time to make a wonderful bowl of pho, the best choice is to make Hanoi Pho with seasoning packets. Pho is prepared quickly and with fewer steps and is delicious, round and full of flavor, just like the original pho. Enjoy! The pho flavor is fragrant stimulating the taste buds. The beef is moderately tender, the broth is sweet and delicious. Also, it's more delicious when served with herbs and dipping sauces. The secret behind making delicious Hanoi beef noodle soup. The secret to having a good pot of broth is to simmer beef ribs, oxtail or beef bones. To make the broth more natural, you can add a piece of sugar cane to create a natural sweetness. The meat and tendons that attach around the bone should not be strained too carefully, because it will lose its natural sweetness. Pipe bones often have a bad smell, so you must deodorize them thoroughly to avoid the smell. Hanoi beef noodle soup will lose its characteristic taste without spices such as cinnamon, anise and cardamom. Hopefully the McDonald's podcast sharing will help you make delicious traditional Hanoi pho to entertain your family and loved ones. For more detailed information on how to make Asian or European cakes, please leave your information in the register button below for free consultation support. Thank you for listening and following this McDonald's podcast. I look forward, you will hear the next videos. With best regards. McDonald's Podcast. On the 6th of April 2023.